there are all these circles, and you can see it on all different levels, all these circles that sort of indicate the holes in the leaves, the scallops in the blades, the collar. But I don't know, does anybody have a different thought about that? Sure, I just have a reserve name that should be like the cheese. Oh, which flavor? Um, well, this could be hyacinth. I think yeah, these are yeah, white hyacinths. Yeah, yeah. And then there's these peach roses. Peach roses. Yeah. And is that a Thai leaf that she uses inside the Inside. Oh, no, that's called New Zealand flax. And it's a variegated one. It's, um, you know, peach and green. It come, New Zealand flax comes brown, it comes green, it comes green and white, and then it comes this peach and green color. It's called Brasilia. B-E-R-Z-I-L-L-I-A. Right? Is that right? Which is the Brasilia. I am a former landscape painter, and Andrew Zorn, who's considered the John Singer Sargent of Sweden, um, is uh, one of my favorite painters. There. I think the biggest challenge is to not copy the painting. This is the eye of the hair, you know, on the still life table. This represents the glass. This is the thing. This is that. Connecting all the dots, I think, is copying the painting. I think you want to interpret the painting in a way that the visitor coming, and what I hope to do here, would say, well, this painting is mostly greens, it's a landscape. And look at all this color she has in there. And then they look back at the painting, which is called opal for the same reason, and they discover that all the colors that I have in the flowers are actually in the painting. Perfect, thank you very much. Great. <laughs>